Despite warnings from veterinarians, people love feeding their food pets table food. Some say the pets give you those eyes and make you feel <laughs> guilty for not sharing. So I spoke with the Houston Humane Society about which foods are actually okay to share and which should be considered forbidden for the sake of the animal's health. Foods that are okay to share with dogs and cats are carrots, apples, white rice, even a fried egg with no seasoning, and... Turkey or chicken in very small doses, but you need to make sure that there's no skin, no seasoning, um, very bland, cooked all the way through, no grease. The grease from foods can lead to gastroenteritis, which will make pets have vomiting, diarrhea, decreased appetite. In addition to greasy foods, pets should never have anything containing or prepared with grapes, raisins, alcohol, avocados, chocolate, onion, and spices like cinnamon or garlic. A lot of spices can be toxic to them, and that toxicity may be very low in some cases where it's maybe just more of an irritant, all the way to something that could affect their nervous system. Your pet may get sick immediately or up to days later, and it can be fatal. Signs that something is toxic to your pet include weakness, vomiting, or trouble breathing. The Houston Humane Society also says you don't want to give your pets these foods because of the rise in animal obesity, which can cut down their lives by more than two years. To help dogs lose weight, you can go for a walk, but cats might require more imagination. You know, you can get feather toys and laser toys and kind of entice them to be a little more active with you. And with our pets, you know, cutting down on people food, we also recommend that you start measuring your pet's food. Now, dogs and cats eating too much fatty food like cheese can lead to pancreatitis or liver damage. Monica Schmidt with the Humane Society did say that larger dogs might be able to handle slightly larger volume and metabolize it safer than a smaller pet, but it only takes one food that disagrees with them and you can have long-term problems. Yeah, and sometimes it's not food. I know my dogs just eat whatever's out. Plastic. <laughs> yeah, you gotta leather, be careful about what they do get into. You name it. Yeah, all the baby's toys have been eaten by the dogs and keep replacing those. But anywho, got to be careful. All right.